from a place that's seen its share of great moments through the years a look at the Oakland Coliseum. We've got an AL Western Division showdown tonight between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. Division rivals do battle next. Frankie Montes is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, hitters have had their way with this guy this year. This is a stat any pitcher doesn't want to have attached to him. The league hitting over 300. That's righties and lefties hitting over 300 against this guy. That's something he's going to drastically have to improve on. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now here's the pitch. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. And Dan D. Rowe, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They're coming off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last First nine ball games. Yeah, Matty V., what we're seeing there is a team D. Rowe. They're starting to put the gas pedal down right now. They're starting to get some length in this division. Yeah, this team's playing well. They're playing with confidence. You can tell guys are walking to the plate with a swagger. Their pitchers are taking them out and executing pitches down and away. This is a good ball club. Loriano is there and he has it for the first down. Batting second. The center fielder. Number 10. Next up for the Strohs, Miles Straw comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Lifetime versus this arm. He's 0 for 8. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Pitch is popped up. Chapman takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Two down with a runner at first. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. He's set and the pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Straw is off of first with two away. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Left side. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Danny Duffy is on the mound for Houston in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, if you're looking for Achilles heel from this pitcher, this jumps right out at you. Right-handed batters are hitting over 300 on the season against this guy. That's something he's going to have to improve on if he expects to pitch well in this one. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. It leaves really things off here in the eight. bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Elvis. Andrew. Duffy sets. Here's the delivery. And fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight. They've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker, without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours of video, and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500. One and one to start the road trip, and you're moving in the right direction. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. 
I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Now the 2-1 pitch. Drives it out to deep right center field. Andrus will take the turn and head for second here. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this is low, ball one. No one out with a runner at second. when Yank just foul. The one one waves and misses for strike number two. Yeah guys he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Hard ground ball to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Boy, after that base knock right there, D Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. And they're runners at the corners now. one count here's the pitch swung on but fouled off to the left runners are at first and third with none out swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. This is popped up. Fuentes has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fifth. The second baseman. Fuentes. Wow. Next to hit is Brandon Lau. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. From the belt, kicks and deals. Okay. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1-0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Oh wow, he really yanked that slider across his body and he almost threw it to the backstop. Nice job by his battery mate to corral that one. Two and one, here it is. Hit hard towards center. And there's a base hit as the run will score from third and the A's have taken a one to nothing lead. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here. They strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. Everyone contributing makes for a fun clubhouse. So now it's Mark Canna. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling.
Ready with the 1-0. Now Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. Looking up is Brantley. Gone! Mark Canna has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. Seven. The In at the plate is Sean Murphy. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. As a manager, when you see a guy struggling like this in the first thing, your mind starts racing trying to figure out about how long you're going to go with this guy and how many guys you might end up having to use out of your bullpen just to get through this thing. Not a good spot to be in. Driven nicely into the gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, this doesn't have the makings Batting of a start he's going to be proud of, does it? He's getting yeah. absolutely pounded here in the first inning, Pinter. and I would think they're not going to let this go on for much longer. And that brings up Chad Pinder, and he fouls this one off. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Comes set with the 0 and 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second with the A's up four zip. Here's Carlos Correa now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. As an offense right here, 4 nothing. you can't let that get away from you. You're a grand slam from tying this one up. Everyone take a deep breath and just start getting some guys on base. The wind up and the 0 1. Whoa. Fastball well outside. This is line to left. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. That exists. The right fielder, number 30. Digging in will be Kyle Tucker. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Now here's the first offering. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, looks like they might have something That's brewing right here. That's back to back base, base runners after a few runs were scored in the inning before, too. Yeah, Dan, I have to imagine your team throws up a crooked number. You want to go out there and throw a donut up, but they are putting some guys on base. This could get interesting. At the plate now, Chris Taylor as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 
lifetime in this matchup. He's one for five. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the 2 0. Possibly a double play ball now for Andrus. To second for one. On to first, a double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Josh Fuentes to the plate now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. Step out of the box and wash that one off because that was an ugly swing. The 1 1 home pulls this one in the air out to left. Tinder is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Astros leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Last half of the second set to go. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Seth Brown. Here it comes. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One ball, no strike. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the A's add on more. It's now a 5 0 game. Normally this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left but he kept his front shoulder square stayed in that at bat and absolutely demolished that baseball. Now that not shortstop. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. Here it comes now to Andrus. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. All the makings of a big inning right here. One already left a yard, and the power hitters are coming up. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Hit hard towards center. That's in another base hit. He's 2 for 2. And we take a look at the line right here, and it's not pretty. He's given up seven hits, and we're only in the second inning. So what if three things is going to happen? He's either going to buckle down and start hitting his spots. 
he's going to continue to get shelled and our game is going to last about five hours or he's going to get the hook early and head for the showers. Into the box Ramon Laureano he collected a base hit his first time up. Now the pitch as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Use the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game oh. continues on. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. No oh, offer here. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1 doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Andres aboard here at first with nobody out. Lifted into the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, Dan, do you agree with the timing of the visit from the pitching coach? Looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. Now here comes the Houston manager out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Christian Javier enters from the pen in just the second inning so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Here's Charlie Blackman now as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one struck out in his first at bat. Two and oh got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2 0 home. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley is under it. One away. Now batting, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. In his career versus this pitcher, he's got five base hits in 18 at bats. He's taken him deep once as he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so. It's important for him to be pitching ahead and have that. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We've played two. It's the A's five and the Astros nothing. Corey Lee digging in now. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. 
Fastball just misses. That's ball one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. The 2-0. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. The 2-1 is looked at for ball three. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. The three and one pitch. Popped him up. Brown in foul ground. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back. One out, base is empty, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. First delivery to him. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. What makes hitting so difficult is covering both sides of the plate. And that hard pitch right there that was inside makes it awfully tough now to cover both the inside and the outside part of the plate. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. Is laid oh. off for ball two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Outside and a full count three and two. Miles Straw waits on deck. And he'll try to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now. A lot of indecision there on that check swing and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two when the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Two out, nobody on. Push softly over toward the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. Striding in for Oakland, Brandon Lau. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Mark. Cannot. To the plate now, Mark Canna. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And 
at 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Three oh. balls and two strikes. A full count to the A's DH. Got to think our man behind the plate thought twice about that one. About as close as it gets. Full count still. One out. Nobody on. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Strong will wait on it. And there's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Next Catcher. up, Sean Murphy. His prior history in this matchup, just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. He also has one home run as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a great change of pace has him off balance, a swing and a miss. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. A's are gone in order, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. Outside two and one. He's fallen behind now three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he was trying to flick that one the other way and it's a full count now three and two. Man that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. That'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Low and away as he misses again 2 and 0 like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing pitchers trying to work you away. High and deep down the left field line. And foul. Again, another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit out towards second. Throw in time at first for out number two. 
Base is empty two away and the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year Carlos Correa bats next. First delivery to him. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. Hey this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes but the bottom line is he's getting outs. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. One two three go the Astros. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Bottom of the inning now and coming forward the veteran outfielder Chad Pinder. Pinder. And now the first pitch in there and it's 0 and 1. No ball. One strike. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. After it is Tucker and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And there are the now final that. numbers for the Astros the starting pitcher. Day. Not the night he or his club were hoping yeah. for. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. At the plate now is Seth Brown. Off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. Yeah, Matt, that last A.B. was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist height at belt height changeups. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Too high. Ball three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And whoa, awfully close. But it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner. But he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. At the plate, Elvis Andrews. Go. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's one ball out. one. For his career in this matchup, he's got five base hits in 18 at bats. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Brown stands at first with one out. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Here's the two one now to Andrus. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. The batter, number 22. Next to stand in is Ramon Laureano, singled in his last at bat. Yeah and they take another single right here that third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them. As he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's one and oh. 
I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? The 1-0 home. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Tucker waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Blackman. Here's the first pitch to him. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. All right, Heidi, thank you. Now the first pitch. Kyle Tucker will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And the shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. In the bullpen area he squeezes it to record the out. Now one down with the bases empty and into hit next it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. First pitch of the A.B. now. Lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll Four, probably three. make you pay for it. A ball and two strikes One now. Ball. Here comes the one two. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Josh Fuentes. A ball and no strikes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. That's wide 2 and 0. Oh. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Nope. No, 3 and 0. Oh. Hey, he's had great no. command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a 3 ball count. No runs, three hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. 
So it's a runner at first with two gone and that brings Corey Lee to the plate. Come set now the pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Chapman brings it in. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Fastball just missed above the zone. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Here's Michael Brantley. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball. Up and in for ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. 2 and 0 to Brantley. Ball. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Two and one after the foul ball there. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fuentes on second. Lee at first. Two out in the inning. And it's fouled away. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Two left for the Astros. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. And now here is Matt Chapman. Go for two Ready from him so far in this one. The third baseman, Matt. Chapman. First delivery to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the 2-1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Ranging back is Tucker, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that no ball, extending eight. his arms very second well, was able to get it over the Brand right hit. fielder's head. One hopping wow. it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Stepping in now, Brandon Lau as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. He's working on a one for two game so far. Ah. 
A ball and a strike. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. A runner at second, nobody out. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna, comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch of the A.B. now. The 0 1 pitch popped him up. Lee waits on it. Two gone. Now batting catcher. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So now to the plate, Sean Murphy, as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Comes set and the 0 1. And it's 1 and 1. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two, ball, one strike. two outs here with a runner at third. Fouled off. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Here now the 2 2. Now a swing and a fly ball. Tucker is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. The A's strand one as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Now at the plate, here is Miles Straw. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. First offering. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Astro center fielder ahead with a 2 0 count. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. Now the 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is lined into right field and he's aboard here with the leadoff single. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what. Sometimes result is only thing that matters. Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. No hits to this point.
set to deliver the 0 and 1. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. The 1 1. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Strong on at first, nobody out. High and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Gone! Two run shot to straight away center. Number 26 for him on the season, and it's now a 5 to 2 game. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So the good news is he'll wind up going the requisite five innings for the victory but he does leave his bullpen some considerable work to do before this one's done. New pitcher set to take over now it's the right hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. And that will bring up Alex Bregman and on the first pitch he grounds foul. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Just hung in there on that one. No outs, nobody on. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder. Gone! Back to back homers. It's a solo shot for Alex Bregman number 23 for him thus far and it's a 5 3 game now. Yeah that was solid strategy going with the right handed reliever there looking for the right on right advantage but he took that strategy and blasted it into the outfield stance got on the bump just didn't execute the pitch he wanted. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one head to head numbers against Sergio Romo not great he's one for eight. Hit in the air down the right field line. After it is Blackman, and no one will track it down. Here's the 1 1. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. Three runs already home here. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. 
the batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one so you'd think you'd go right back there but instead they decided to come in make him prove he can adjust before you do. Full count now three and two. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Good battle count remains full. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Well the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Up next Kyle Tucker one for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch on the way as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. Nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at. But he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage. 2-0. Hit hard back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Next, it'll be Chris Taylor. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning, Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. None out. Runners at first and second. Possibly a double play ball now for Andrus. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The second for one. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Standing in now, Josh Fuentes. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. In his career, Fuentes brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the A's five and the Astros three. So stepping in is Chad Hinder. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Here's the first pitch to him. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Two oh. and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. 
clearly off with his timing on that one a swinging strike. Won't commit on the slider good patience and it's full three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Three two pitch. And that one misses so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter shows some great patience and discipline making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Seth Brown will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. As a look now the pitch swing and a drive to right there it goes Tucker looks up and goodbye this one ain't coming back a two run blast to straight away right field his second home run of the game as it is now seven to three. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. To the plate now, Elvis Andrews. That's shortstop. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. Here it comes now to Andrus. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Grounded back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get it out on the play. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. At the plate, Ramon Laureano, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, and one, here it comes. Popped up. Fuentes is there, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting right fielder. Charlie. Stepping in once again is Blackman. Charlie Blackman. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. No, down. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. Two balls and a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, and that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Andres leads off first with one away. Line. 
that's a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Now that the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Into the box, Matt Chapman. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh and one count and the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a good strike two pitch there as he has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. Bouncer up the middle. A bare hand for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh. It's the A's seven and the Astros three. Adam Kolarik is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now in the box, Corey Lee. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The catcher, Corey Lee. First delivery to him. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. Look out. Oh. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. One that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Once again, a three two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. The left fielder, number 23, Michael. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Michael Brantley. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. Down the first baseline, reined in, Andrews. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Next up is Miles Straw. Lifetime against this pitcher. Seven hits in 14 tries. He's taken him deep once. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Two ball, one strike. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. 
Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Runners on first with one down. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. <laughs> Not sure the spin throw was necessary there, but it sure looked good. Would have been questionable if he threw it away, but he put it right on the money for the out. At the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this one will bounce into the wall. On to second, but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well. The third baseman, number two. Boy, this guy's having a great right. game here so far, D. Rowe. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup, and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. J.B. Wendelkin will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Into the box now, Alex Bregman, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. From the belt, the pitch dribbled up the line. Foul ball, strike two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Count is one and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the A's seven and the Astros four. Austin Pruitt gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Striding in is Brandon Lau. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. Hey, I can't have one of my best left handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. Mark Hanna will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. He's set. Here it comes. Through it. Is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. In now, Sean Murphy. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh and one here it comes. Mm, chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. To second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the A's seven and the Astros four. Now into the box. Carlos Correa. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's three for nine. From the stretch. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, of it. You know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now back. So next to hit is Kyle Tucker. It was a base hit last time up. First offering. Strike taken up in the zone. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Now the one and one pitch it is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's another one, too. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Chris Taylor waits on deck. The 3 2 pitch. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. The batter number three, second baseman. So a runner at first now with one away and in to hit next it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Becomes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Tucker, the runner at first with one gun in the inning.
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So now to the plate, Josh Fuentes. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And boy, was he ever oh, fooled on that pitch. It's 0 and 2 now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. From the belt, the pitch. And oh. it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Boy, he one sped ball. him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well the intent there with that two strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well you give up three bases. One that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two for the guy in the mound. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this a B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Frozen for strike three and that retires the side. One left for Houston. They're on the short end of a seven four score. of inning number eight set Four to go eight. and up next the ever the versatile Pinder. Chad Pinder. Chad. Pinder. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Oh and a look what I found out there on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Next up for the A's, the Seth baseman. Brown. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Ah, uh, man, he's making a lot of noise in this one. He's feeling really locked in at the plate right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout anybody could get two. There ain't too many guys hitting north of two bombs in the game in the big leagues. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. One out, nobody on. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base now as we go back to the top of the order. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrus. Here it comes now to Andrus. Runner at first here, one man out. Four. 
fouled away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a line drive. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Wow, this is a perfect example of a Wiley veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. He's set and the pitch. Charlie Blackman comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. And that one misses upstairs. 2 and 0. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. As a look, now the pitch. No, that's the ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Ah oh, man, just a hair early on that one and just pulled it foul. It's going to have to find a way to refocus. Not easy to continue an A-B after you just went deep foul. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Trevor Rosenthal comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that brings Corey Lee to the plate. Now, here's the first offering. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. So the lineup flips over and digging in Michael Brantley. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First delivery to him. Grounder down the line at third. Ready with the 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate.
And another foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't it. get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. To the plate now, Miles Straw. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Now a line drive here is caught. And if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone, the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. Oakland put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Frankie Montes earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Danny Duffy lasted only an inning in the losing effort. Trevor Rosenthal closes the door for the save his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now 